Hey y'all, it's a windy cold day here. Hear the wind chimes going and I see the gourds for the birdhouses just swinging in the air, but there's still boats on the lake. It's so funny. They're wrapped up like they're freezing to death. I would be too. Okay. Today we're making a dessert. I've been wanting to make this for a long time. I haven't made it in ages. It's a simple dessert. It's a layered dessert. We call it chocolate delight. And we're going to preheat our oven at 325. Let's get to cooking. We're going to use a 9 by 13 pan and we're going to spray it really good. So just a hint, go ahead and lay out a block of cream cheese to get to room temperature while you're doing the crust. So I've got my one and a half cups of all purpose flour. I've got it measured out. I just went and got my pecans out of the freezer. I have not roasted these. I do like to roast them, but I'm not going to today because I need to get this done. I'm not sure I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have exactly enough. That was a half cup measurement. So now I've got my three fourths cup of butter. I'm gonna pour it in. So I'm just gonna use my Danish whisk to mix this together. We are making a simple pecan cookie crust for this. You can also use a graham cracker crust if you like. Now all we're doing here is we are taking the pecan cookie crust, we're placing it in the pan that's been sprayed with an oil, and we're gonna press this down flat on the bottom of the pan. If you don't like using your hands, you can use the rounded back side of a measuring cup to do this. You just want to press it down flat. So I've got that done. It looks really pretty. So I'm going to put this in my oven, preheated at 325. So I've got it in the oven. We're going to cook that for about 20 or 25 minutes. I'm going to set my timer for 20 and look at it. Cold day here. Uh, when we got up, it was like 30 something degrees. So I'm going to make us a pot of chili. I had my ground beef already browned, so that's good. I went down to the freezer to see if I had any chili made, but I didn't have any in the freezer. So I'm going to whip up some chili real quick for our lunch. So although my meat is cooked, it was frozen. So I'm adding some tomato sauce here. That's going to thaw out real quickly. Now I'm going ahead and working on our bottom layer of the dessert. So I'm putting the cream cheese in. Now I'm going to add one cup of confectioner sugar and that won't fit so we're going to use this one it's one third after the pantry challenge i was completely out of confectioner sugar so all you do is take white sugar and blend it and blend it and blend it i do it in my ninja food processor and it makes beautiful powdered sugar just in case you didn't know that i don't know if i've told that or not so we need three of these because this is a one third cup so there we go. I had to go to the sink to get it out of the bottom of it. So that is one cup of powdered sugar, one block of cream cheese. My timer is going off for the, sorry, I'm doing a hundred things, pecan cookie crust, and I'm going to get it out now. I thought I'd better check on the chili. You can see the ground beef has thawed out really good. Now I'm going to get the beans. Y'all think I'm not proud of them. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm just going to pop this lid. Did you hear that seal? It makes you proud if you're a canner. If you'd like to know how to can these pinto beans, I'll put the link in the description box. Now you'll see me adding some different spices. I'm adding chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika. Y'all know I love that. Uh, I'm adding garlic powder, onion powder, and red pepper flakes. Just an easy quick lunch. So my pecan cookie crust is done. You can tell because it's a little brown on the edges. I'm gonna set this aside so it can be cooling. Now we're ready to work on our first layer for our dessert. We've got the powdered sugar and the cream cheese mixing together in the mixer. I like to mix those two things together and then after I've mixed it a little bit then I add my Cool Whip. Now I call it Cool Whip but I buy the cheapest um, whatever's on sale or the cheapest tastes the same y'all. 
This is a little bit frozen. I had it in the freezer and it's still a little bit frozen. But I add a cup of whipped topping, I guess is what we should say. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, whipped topping. Cool whip. I'm just going to dump that in there. Then we mix this all together and place it in the refrigerator to keep it cold. Now, the recipe I have calls for one small package of chocolate instant pudding and one of the vanilla instant pudding. So I'm going to put these both in a bowl. It also calls for milk. I like to use whole milk. Thankfully, I freeze my whole milk when I get it at a good price. I'll freeze it in containers like this so I had whole milk. You can use any milk. It's fine. I just think it tastes richer. So here I'm just mixing the vanilla and the chocolate pudding together in a bowl. So the recipe calls for three cups. This is two cups, I believe. Let's see. Looks like two cups to me. Yeah, this is two cups. Let's see how much this is. I bet it's two cups. Oh, look, it's still frozen. <laughs> That's okay. I'll make it cold. I'm not going to get that big lump of frozen milk in there, though. Let's see if we can get three cups out of this that's not frozen. Otherwise, we'll have to wait till it free and uh -uh, thaws a little bit or add a different milk. You can use any milk. I just love whole milk in this. I think it's a rich dessert. So there's two cups. Now, let's see if we can get one cup. I think we can. Almost. Let's see. Almost. I think we got enough in here to make it happen. Perfect. Perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll just put this frozen one in here and I'll put it in the refrigerator for something else I'm going to use. These are soup containers from Costco that I bought at Christmas and I've been trying to find this soup forever. It is so good. It's a uh, chicken and mushroom soup with rice. I don't normally buy stuff like that, but I did and I loved it. So there's three cups and all we're doing here is making pudding. And you could use the mixer if you want to. If that's easier on you. My mixer's just full of that first layer. So we're just going to whisk this until it's thick, put it in the refrigerator to keep it cold. So remember, we've got our Cool Whip, our powdered sugar, and our cream cheese. And it's been in the refrigerator. I'm just going to spread this on this crust. Now, if this crust had been warm, see, that probably would just melt away. I love cream cheese. Oh, my goodness. So this is our first layer on top of the crust. Now this will go in the refrigerator to keep it cold. Both the cream cheese and the chocolate pudding have been in the refrigerator keeping cold. You need to leave each layer in the refrigerator for at least 15 or 20 minutes. If everything's nice and chilled, it makes it spread that much better. Just a reminder, the recipe will be in the description box. So now we're going to put the remaining Cool Whip on. I'm just going to dollop it on and then spread it out. Make sure and spray your pan good when you make your pecan cookie crust because this does tend to stick very easily. Uh, here I'm adding nuts. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. And as always, of course, the nuts are optional. Now you don't have to do this. This is a chocolate syrup. <clears throat> I love to just drizzle a little on top before I put it back in the refrigerator and just make it pretty. That was easy. There's a lot of different steps to it, but it's very simple. Y'all to try it. It's delicious. Y'all go cook something.